Hey everyone, I hope you all are doing good and having a wonderful day. In this video, we are going to learn about what is API penetration testing and how we can do mass assignment on APIs. So we are going to basically focus on REST APIs, but you can try this method on uh, any APIs like SOAP based API or, uh, you know, GraphQL, etc. Right. So with that being said, let's get started. Yeah, but one small thing is that if you haven't checked out my previous video in which I had a really uh, nice uh, session with Ahmed Hassan in which he shows us that how we can do API pen testing, then go ahead and check it out. The link is given in the description as well as you can see it on the right side of the screen. And let's get started with that being said. So the first thing is I need to set up my lab, which I have created. So let me just open it right over here. Just start it. And now let's visit this application in our browser right just let me open it there it is there is this lab let's try to see what is mass assignment vulnerability right so this is understand the basic theory about what is mass assignment right so if we are able to initialize a variable, you know, which uh, allows us to do some kind of privilege escalation, for example, uh, let me just open a, a new tab over here. And let's say, type this, let's say that initially when we are, you know, logging in or creating an account into the application, we are getting the following request body, uh, in the birth suit, like uh, let's say username equals to uh, let's say my name, then let's say password equals to normal password, and then there's this uh, rule uh, equals to you know normal user, then there is uh, let's say first name right so we all have seen this kind of uh you know json data going between the client and the server right so suppose that when we are creating an account on an application we are sending this data on the application right and then our account get created so in the back end we are getting something like this 200 okay and we are getting something like this for example success equals to true right so we all have uh, came across this kind of application right what will happen if i try to add a new variable for example uh let's say is admin and i set this value to be true right now if the application is vulnerable to mass assignment then we will be able to create an admin account with this simple variable right so this is what mass assignment did so in real uh, in real world application we need to have uh, a lot of variables uh, we need to send in the request and we need to check whether uh, the variables are getting accepted and how it is going to you know uh, how it is going to be rend rendered or accepted by the server right so this is what mass assignment vulnerability is and it is actually quite uh, a scary one right because you can see that just from this is admin uh, equals to true we are able to get into the admin account right so this is what mass assignment is let's try to see how we can do this in a real world application for example let's say this is the application right over here let me just open my verb suit and let's just wait for the verb suit to load There it is. And let's just do it like this. Let me just turn on my intercept. Yeah, we're good to go. Now let's try to do some basic thing. Like let me try to log in into my account. Let's say if I yes, and the password is simply one two three four five. Uh, let's intercept this request let's try to analyze it in depth send it right over here 
as you can see over here when we are sending this request we are able to see this uh, response right over as you can see we have success it was true username is for yours and it's showing that admin it was to false right so in many cases you come across uh, uh, in an API basically um, or more of a rest API which shows this kind of data when you are doing a login or maybe when you are doing a registration right so apart from that you can see we have got an extra value over here right it is showing admin equals to false right so now the chances of admin variable over here is you know quite high right let's try to see what will happen if I try to do admin equals to true right so we are initializing this variable right over the request and let's see what will happen and as you can see we were successfully able to log in as the rights of an admin right simply by initializing a new assignment which is admin equals to true right so this is one of the common vulnerabilities in api more in risk api right so this is how we can find mass assignment vulnerability or even we can use tools like paraminer or arjun to find these kind of hidden parameters that is getting passed along uh, in the request or which is getting accepted in the server for example i can just send this to paraminer and i can just click on this one which is guest body parameter click on ok and over here let's try to find whether this uh, paraminer is getting us that particular uh, variable or not let's wait a few seconds and let's see what happens after that as you can see it was able to find the parameter admin right so the same parameter were used to do the privilege escalation we have seen over here right so this is how we can check for mass assignment vulnerabilities we can also use urgent for that and now the main thing is that why this is happening right you might be thinking that what is the root cause for this so for that let's try to analyze the source code and let's see what is causing this behavior and how we can fix it as well so let's open the terminal over here this one let's stop it and let's see the source code of it right so this is the source code so we have this route so when we are visiting this slash then we are seeing the index.egs file and when we are sending the post request to login as you can see over here we are sending the post request to this endpoint login slash login then it is checking the username and checking the password and here is something called response code in which the success equals to true and username and by default here admin is set to false right so by default the application is assuming that ad admin is uh, set to false which means the normal user is uh, using this particular application right now it is checking that if there is any body uh, admin parameter then it is checking that if the admin parameter is set to true right then it is changing this admin variable back to true otherwise it is going to just send us that invalid operation right let's try to uh, see this in action for example we know that admin set to true is result in admin goes to true let's try to do anything else we'll see that we'll get invalid operation right so this is what this line says that if admin equals to true then we are going to set this and at the end of this code we are sending this response code so we are sending this data back over here right now the problem arises that both the admin as well as the user are using a same endpoint to log in right so if the admin wants to log in he is getting login logged in by using this admin uh, new admin variable right and since it is not uh, has been set to default the developers might be thinking that and the normal user won't be able to access this from the front end server or from the back end server now the problem is that there are basically two problems first the admin should have a new endpoint where they uh, are supposed to log in into their account, right? So this is the number one problem. And the second problem is that even if they have to, you know, log in with the same endpoint, they need to set, they need to set a variable over here, which is not easily visible by anyone, right? For example, this admin is, you know, 
too easy to guess by any software. Like we have seen how Paraminer was is able to guess, right? So instead, they can use a different parameter. For example, let's say uh, is admin one two three something like that, or some parameter that is not that much easily guessable by the uh, tools like Paraminer or Azure, right? So these are the common mitigation of this. So the root cause is that you shouldn't be uh, allowing the normal level user and the admin user to log in into the same uh, log in with the same endpoint with just a simple variable, right? So this is the root cause of mass assignment vulnerability. I hope that you have understood it. If you have any doubts, if you have any issues, feel free to let me know your doubts or issues in the comment section. And also do join our Telegram channel if you want to stay updated with the latest trends and technologies going under cybersecurity as well as web development. And if you, if you like the way I explain, then I'm currently running two awesome courses. The first one is hacking Windows with Python from scratch, where I've shown that how we can create our own custom payload that can be used to hack any Windows machine till now. And that is easily bypassable by any NTY. So and no NTY is going to detect it as of now. Right? We'll, we'll be executing commands. We'll be getting access to the webcams and we'll do a lot more fun and interesting stuff in that particular course. And the second interesting course is that if you are a bug bounty hunter, then check out my bug bounty, the ultimate type to hunt account takeover course, in which I've shown that how we can uh, break the logic of an application to take over a news account because of the website's misconfiguration. Right? So go ahead and check them out if you want to. And now with that being said, again, if you have any doubts, feel free to let me know and thanks for watching.